Hey guys, it's me, Coral. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be filming a kind of tour of my bookcases and then also I'm going to be going through my TBR, my own TBR. Uh, but I'm only going to be doing the horror part of my TBR for this video. Uh, I just have too many books to film a whole, well, I should say I have too many books and also too many books that I haven't read. So uh, if I was to do a TBR tour of my entire collection of books, this video would be just too long. So I'm gonna show you all of my shelves today, um, but I'm not going to go through and show everything, just my horror stuff that I haven't read so far, okay? So uh, I know I kind of did a video like this a couple months ago of my TBR, but then I got these new bookshelves and everything got rearranged. So I just like do not want to put the effort in to like go back and watch that video, catalog what I had already talked about and then that's just too much effort. I'm sorry. It's just too much effort for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna get on with it and show you what my shelves look like. So if I back up a little bit, I don't know if I can get the whole thing in one shot. But this is one section of the books in my room here. Um, we have up here some dead things. <laughs> uh, I have my horror section right here everything's kind of all spaced out because i just don't have enough books at at this point i'm sorry my dog sees me and he's like what are you doing i'm not really sure i might have to take my camera off my tripod so this is part of my horror section everything's spaced out kind of goofy because i just don't have room I mean, I just have too much room at this point. So these are more of my Soon King books. Sorry for shaky hands. Okay, this is the very end here of my horror section, I have some anthologies, and then this goes on to the beginning of the thrillers that I own. So we have some of those, some Gillian Flynn. I'm not tall enough. <laughs> Is this angle horrible? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't have a smaller tripod I can use to just like hold things up. There's my octopus print that I need a frame for. My sister-in-law got that for me. She is just a sweet little baby angel. Oh, I guess we're on to fantasy. Oops. There are some things here that I have tabbed because sometimes my husband reads and he's like, what should I read? And I could never think of what I think he should read when he asks me. So I went through and I tabbed a bunch of stuff so he can just look and see what I've tabbed. These are all, um, my books are alphabetized, well, they're organized first by genre and then in the genre. Sorry, some of these are tipped over because I don't have enough shit to hold them up. And then this is the other side of the room where the last three bookcases are. 
Um, so like I was saying, everything's organized by genre first and then in each genre I have it organized, um, alphabetized by author. So that's the end of the fantasy. Um, this is more of the science fiction that I own. This is a smaller section of my books. And that is the very end of science fiction. And this is on to, on to more like contemporary and general fiction. Stupid. Oh, this is my shelf with my pop-up book. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but it's The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, which is hmm, arguably one of my favorite Stephen King books. And they made a pop-up of it. My mom got it for me for my birthday one year. Super cool. Okay, so this down here is um, more historical fiction, kind of, things that like have like older settings. And then this gets into um, some of the nonfiction or memoirs I own. It's a very small section there. And then this is also a small section. This is my true crime. So I just have two shelves of that. There's these and these. And then down here, I have my graphic novels. And down here I have some manga and just some notebooks I use to take stupid notes in. And that's it. That's uh, my collection. I have a lot of space now to fill up. All right, are you guys fucking ready for this? I had to destroy my bookshelves, but that's okay because I find it really soothing to like clean them and take things on and off, so. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's start here. Um, I have, hmm. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> it is astounding to me sometimes when I actually take a look at this shit that I have not read on my shelves. Um, okay, so I have the first three volumes of Clive Barker's Books of Blood, haven't read them. I have Weave World by Clive Barker, have not read it. I also have The Damnation Game by Clive Barker, haven't read it. I have The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks, Naomi's Room by Jonathan Acliffe, The Last Days of Jack Sparks by Jason Arnop, A Part in the Dark by Anya Alborn. I have The Passage by Justin Cronin. This one I have read just about a third of and I got to a part that was like, like jumps forward in the future and I was like, I just spent so long with these characters that I care about and now they're just not there. Like, I don't wanna fucking read this anymore. Ooh, so <laughs> I really want to get back to it someday, but uh, for now I have not read it. I have As Seen on TV by John Wayne Communale, The Entity by Frank DiFolita, Haven by Tom, I think it's Deddy. Not sure, it could be Deedee, but it looks like it's spelled Deddy, so Tom Deddy. The Giant Tome, that is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. This one I've also read part of. I've read 70 pages of this behemoth, I guess. Uh, this is one I really want to finish this year, but I really don't know if I will. Cry Wolf by Alan B. Chronister. I have Krampus and The Child Thief, both by Brom. Exquisite Corpse by Poppy Z. Bright. Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone. I have... The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I haven't read this. I switched schools so many times. Um, my, when I was in like my last couple years of middle school and my first couple years of high school that I ended up reading Romeo and Juliet three fucking times. And then I missed out on good stuff like this. 
just so disappointing. So I really want to get to this one soon. This cover is so fucking great. The Gathering Dark by Christopher Golden. This came to me in a book box and it was, it's not the first or the second or like the third novel in this series. So why? Why did they do that first of all? Um, I'd like to read it. I liked Ararat by Christopher Golden, but now I have to track down the first couple books in this series in order to get to it. The Snake by John Gotti? Gotti? Gotti or Gotti? Oh, this beat to shit copy of Midnight Boy by Stephen Gresham. Mm, it is so beat up. Disappointing when people tell you that this book's in good condition and then it's fucking not thrift books. I also have Rockabye Baby by Stephen Gresham. The Cormorant by Stephen Gregory. I have Crib and Don't Tell Mommy, one of the best covers ever, by Harold Lee Friedman. I have Son of Endless Night and The Fury, both by John Ferris. I have part of the Brownstone series, the Brownstone and the Bloodstone, both by Ken Yolo. I have the little collection When Darkness Loves Us by Elizabeth Angstrom. Lunar Park by Brett Easton Hills. Hate Inexorable by Mike Duke. I'm not sure if I will ever read this because I really didn't like his other novella that I read. I mean, I, got, I guess I might as well try it since I already bought it, but. The Chrysalis by Brendan Deneen. I have Cat's Eye by William W. Johnstone. I have Death Stone and Smoke by Ruby Jean Jensen. The only Jans that I own and haven't read is The Siren and the Spectre, which I feel like I need to get to soon because I've been kind of neutral on what I've read from him so far. And so I've heard that this one's so good though. So I'm hoping that this is super good because I want to like his stuff so bad. Not that it, I think it's bad. I just haven't been super wowed by it. So there's that. I have Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. Freaks by Amanda Hawking. The Gill Ghoul by Henry W. Hotcherman. Falling Angel by William Yortsberg. I think, hmm. I grew up in Minnesota, so I feel like I should maybe be able to figure this one out, but I think it's Yortsburg. I don't know. Sorry, William. Okay, and now I have a shameful amount of Joe Hill books I haven't read. I've only read two of his books, you guys, which I feel like is some sort of like modern horror lover sacrilege. Mm. But I have Strange Weather, the Fireman. I have read part of this. I don't even think I have a bookmark in it anymore because it's been so long, um, but I read part of this. Horns and 20th Century Ghosts. I also have the, the Sphere, The Spear by James Herbert and Nightstone by Rick Hautala. I also have Offspring by Jack Ketchum. Uh, this is the follow-up to Off Season, which I haven't read, so I don't want to read this one until I have that, but I'm looking for a specific copy of it, of course, so that's just my fault. In the River by Jeremy Robert Johnson. I have a novella, Take the Long Way Home by Brian Keane, and also Brian Keane's Dark Hollow. Okay, now into some of the Stephen King I haven't read yet. I have a Bag of Bones. Desperation. I've read The Regulators, but I haven't read Desperation yet. Needful Things. Dreamcatcher. Duma Key. Insomnia. Misery. I know I have not read Misery. <laughs> Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I haven't read this. I did like to read. I did read, I feel like almost all of his short story collections when I was between like 11 and like 13 years old, but I don't really remember for sure if I haven't read this one 
or if I have, I don't know. I'm just gonna count it as no because I'd have to reread it anyways if I wanted to tell anybody about it. So I also have full dark, no stars just after sunset. 11, 22, 63. I have not read it. And I know people say this one is so good, but I really like, I think this is probably at the bottom of my list for like kings I am wanting to get to. I don't know. This one doesn't interest me a whole ton. I have some of the Bachman books I have not read. Rage, Roadwork, or The Running Man. I also have Cycle of the Werewolf. And as far as the ones that I own from the Dark Tower, I have not read The Wastelands or Wizard in Glass. Hearts in Atlantis, The Green Mile, The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, Finders Keepers, which is a sequel to Mr. Mercedes, which I have read, just didn't follow up with it. And Revival. Those are the Stephen Kings that I own and haven't read, but obviously there are some that I don't own and haven't read too. I also have The Silence by Tim Levin. I have two Richard Lehman books. I've never read any of his stuff, but I have Traveling Vampire Show and Blood Games. I also have Afraid by Jack Kilborn. I have Skin and Strange Angels by Kathy Koja. I have Bleed by Ed Kurtz. I have In the Trees Crept In and Dead House by Don Kurtigich. Okay, mm. I also have a whole collection of Josh Mallerman books that I haven't read. I always think to myself, yeah, I really love Josh Mallerman, but then I realize I've only read Bird Box. So, I have A House at the Bottom of the Lake, Black Mad Wheel, Unburied Carol. Too bad he didn't call it Unburied Coral. Inspection. <laughs> I have four of his books I haven't read. I've only read one of his books. What's wrong with me? I also have I Am Providence by Nick Mamatas, Come to Dust by Bracken McLeod, String the Sheets by Chad Lutsky. I have, my dad got me this giant fucking thing of HP Lovecraft that I don't honestly know if I am ever going to read because I don't know if Cosmic Core is my thing and also I know he's kind of like big into making monsters, describing monsters like how someone might describe a black person in a mean way and that's just fucking shitty even if he's old and dead as fuck. That's still just ick. Um, I have Fog Warning by Edward Lorne, The Three by Sarah Lotz, I have The Mailman and The House by L Bentley Little. I've also never read any of his books. I have Little Star by John Lindquist and The Last Harvest by Kim Liggett, Mirror by Graham Masterton and I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Haven't read anything by these guys either. This is where you find out that maybe I'm not very good at keeping up with the masters of horror. I think I read um, a graphic novel version of I Am Legend once. I also have There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins, Damned by Chuck Palahniuk, Diary by Chuck Palahniuk, Invisible Monsters by Ch Chuck Palahniuk. I have read, I've read four of his books, so I'm not just collecting a bunch of them for no reason, like a bunch of other authors I have. Goth by Atsuichi, The Hatch by Kelly Owen, Zombie by Joyce Carol Oates, Midnight Rain by James Newman, No One Gets Out Alive by Adam Neville, The House of Small Shadows by Adam Neville, and The Ritual by Adam Neville. I need to get on this. This video is just making me uh, realize that I need to stop playing Stardew Valley and fucking read some books this week. Okay, I have Playmates and Sight Unseen by Andrew Niederman, Slade House by David Mitchell. My dog is interrupting because there are other dogs outside. I also have M Moonchild by Kenneth McKenney, 
which is like naming your kid Nikki Nicole. Why did his parents do that to him? Cold Moon Over Babylon by Michael McDowell. I always wanna call him Malcolm McDowell. That's not right. Oh, I've also never read any of this author's stuff. Robert McCann, I have Boy's Life, never read it. I am a trash baby. Okay, so as a teenager, I really loved Anne Rice, but I only read the first three books in the Vampire Chronicles series. Um, so I also have The Mummy, which is not part of the Vampire Chronicles, but I have that. I have Servant of the Bones. I have The Tale of the Body Thief and Mammonok the Devil. I also have two of Ian Reed's books I haven't read. I'm thinking of Ending Things and Faux. These both have such nice textured covers. So you can hear my dry hands rasp upon them. Let's make an ASMR video of me touching books. Just kidding. <laughs> I have The Witching by Fritz and Ravenwood. I always call wanna say Franzen. It's Fritz and Ravenswood, which is a very witchy sounding name. I have The Damned by Andrew Piper, The Devil All the Time by Donald Ray Pollock. And I have two Christopher Pike books because I tried to have like a teenage renaissance even though I didn't ever read his stuff as a teenager. <laughs> Um, so I have The Weekend and Slumber Party by Christopher Pike. I also have two of Dan Simmons' books. My fucking dog cannot stop interrupting. He is so ill-mannered. Um, I started reading The Abominable this winter and uh, it is dry. So I don't know, I wanna try, I'm gonna try it again. I just haven't. Uh, so I have The Abominable and also The Behemoth, The Terror. Ooh, so I want to read those so bad. I just feel like I have to be because they're so big and the language is not language that I can just fly through. You know what I mean? Like the writing style. So I have to be in the right exact mood for that. Doing a lot of this today. Um. I also have Full Tilt by Neil Schusterman. I Remember You by Irza Sigurda Daughter. I think is how you say her last name. I have The Amazing Death Song by Jack Scaparo. Well, I, I don't know that it's amazing, but the cover is just so fucking outrageous. I love it. I also have Cast a Cold Eye by Alan Ryan. I need to put my dog inside. Come here, come here, come here, come on, come on. Here he is, you can't see him, he's so bad. He's so bad, if we meet so bad, I was hide. Let's see, can I pick you up quick? Oh, here he is. Here's the culprit. Okay. I hope that the barking wasn't so bad for this entire fucking video because I kind of zone it out after a couple minutes. So <laughs> if this whole fucking video has been my dog barking, I am so, so sorry. I also have Twice Blessed by Patricia Wallace, The Merciless by Danielle Vega, The Other by Thomas Tryon. I have Disappearance at Devil's Rock and In the Meantime by Paul Tremblay, Creatures of Want and Ruin by Molly Tanzer. I have a couple books in the Ring series. I have Spiral and S. I also have Dark Water by Koji Suzuki. I have The Nightmare Room by Chris Sorensen. This one I want to get to soon. And this one that I might unhaul because I have heard nothing good from anyone about this. This is The Wilderness Within by John Claude Smith. I also have Cutthroat by Michael Slade. I have two of F. Paul Wilson's Repairman Jack series. I have the first one, The Keep. I'm pretty sure that's Pretty sure this is a Repairman Jack novel. If not, I'm a fucking idiot. I also have Night World. Um, and then I have two of J.N. Williamson's books. I have another one, Playmates. I also have The Offspring. And I have Blackbirds by Chuck Wendig. 
We're so close to the end. Oh my God. I have Fiendish by Brenna Yovanoff. Candy by Justin M. Woodward. I've so meant to read this um, during half a -a thon and I didn't get to it. So I think I might just, I just need to read it. I'm gonna put it on my list for next month or maybe the end of this month. I don't know, I have so many fucking books I'm supposed to read this month. I have The Tribe by Barry Wood. And then two other books that got sent to me in a book box. Um, it's the same one that sent me The Gathering Darkness by Christopher Golden, which was into a series. Um, so I have two of the um, John Dies at the End books, but not John Dies at the End. So I have the sequel, This Book is Full of Spiders, and then What the Hell Did I Just Read? I just need to get John Dies at the End, but then I keep not doing that. Okay, and as far as, this one got lost. This is Greener Pastures by Michael Weehunt, or Weehunt, and I am halfway through this, but I set it down and I'm not sure why I didn't pick it up, so I should. It'd just be an easy book to finish. It's short. It's a short story collection anyway, so. Okay, and then as far as anthologies, I have Scream and Scream Again by R.L. Stein. Slasher Girls and Monster Boys by April Genevieve Tucholki, I think is how you say her last name. I have two Valancourt collections. I have the Victorian Christmas Stories Volume 2 and just Valancourt Book of Horror Stories. This is also Volume 2. And then I have Eternal Frankenstein. This was put together by Ross E. Lockhart. I had another anthology, um, Tales from the Talking Board that he put together and I only liked a couple stories in this so I have been reluctant to pick this up. But that is my horror collection except for the ones that I haven't hauled yet this month. So there are a couple more that you'll see at the end of the month. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you. I will be back probably next month. I will probably do my thrillers which will be a much shorter video because I don't have three fucking shelves worth of thrillers. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end, give yourself a gold star because this is gonna be a long video. I'm gonna have to edit this and I'm gonna be like, why did I do this? <laughs> um, oh well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I have to say thank you at least five times because like I said, I'm from the Midwest and that's just the weird self, is it self-loathing? Like I self-deprecation, I don't know. Um, I have to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you again for watching. Um, I will see you in another video soon, but until then, see you later alligators.